we who are children of the light, brothers and sisters of Christ through baptism, who are sent by Christ to go and proclaim the gospel of the kingdom of God, like the remnants of Israel, now must continue rebuilding the temple. Remember, from Monday, we have been reading the book of Ezra, that has reconstruction of the temple after the exile as its central focus. The book of the prophet Igai that we begin reading today has the same. The Jews who had returned from Babylon in 538 BC to rebuild the temple in Jerusalem were not able to finish their work because they were hindered by their enemies. Over 10 years later, in August 520 BC, Haggai delivered a message encouraging the people to finish the rebuilding of the temple. Opposition from hostile neighbors had caused them to feel discouraged and to neglect the temple, hence neglecting God. Dear brothers and sisters, do you know that our bodies are the temples of the Holy Spirit? Sometimes we are not keen to continually rebuild this temple by furnishing and nourishing it with scriptural reflections, acts of mercy, and receiving the sacraments. Today, the prophet Agai is challenging you and me to pick up our tools like the Bibles, rosaries, devotions, and acts of charity to continue rebuilding these temples of the Holy Spirit that we may grow in the love of God. Remember, because the people of Israel had not given God the first place in their lives, their work was not fruitful or productive, and their material possession did not satisfy them. The psalmist has it all, that if the Lord does not build a house, in vain are the builders. This is our situation in the gospel that people found it so difficult to accept Jesus as the Son of God that they came up with other solutions, most of which sounded quite unbelievable. If we have Jesus as our focal point, then we, like Herod, will be puzzled at the wonders he is doing in our lives. Since we, like the psalmist, believe that, the Lord takes delight in his people. This will help us to remain in his way, his truth, and his life. Let us pray today, through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, that we may constantly have Christ as our focal point, that we may remain in his way, his truth, and his life. Mary, Mother of God, 